Ellen Hildebrand is a Nantucket resident who is the acclaimed author of 21 novels. She has been called the queen of the summer beach novel. And in fact, her books usually are set on Nantucket, but her latest book, The Perfect Couple, involves a very serious topic that is also very important to her. And Ellen, welcome. Thanks so much for coming in the studio to be with us. Thank you for having me. Wonderful to meet you. And we want to start off because the book, The Perfect Couple, is about a wedding that takes place on Nantucket. But you are a breast cancer survivor and you chose to make that part of the story. Talk a little bit about your decision there. That's right. So this week marks the fourth anniversary of my, my double mastectomy, my treatment for stage one breast cancer. Um, and the novel, I, I had, after I was treated, I really wanted to write a novel that had breast cancer incorporated, mm. um, but I wasn't ready. Honestly, you're sort of in a post-traumatic stress thing for a while. And then um, when I finally wrote this book, I was far enough away from it that I could deal with the topic in a thoughtful way where I wasn't too emotional about it. Mm. So the mother of the bride in my novel, Karen Otis, has stage four breast cancer. Um, and I used that because it suited my plot, A, but B, because I have done so many events and I've, I've spoken um, for numerous organizations and a lot of them have really focused on stage four patients mm -hmm. and the quality of life that they're having is so inspirational in the way they are just living each day to the fullest. Um, I wanted to honor this, those people by, by having this character in my mm. novel. Did yeah. your experience inform how you wrote that character and if so, was it the first time that you found yourself kind of writing about yourself in a way. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the first thing that happens, and I don't care what kind of cancer you have, when you're diagnosed with cancer, the very first thing you think is what? I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. That's just, and that's sort of how we were raised because it was, it is such a grave disease. Um, so the, you have all of these existential thoughts. What does my life mean? What's going to happen to my children? Um, and so I, I took all of those emotions that I'd had, that I'd sort of had to sublimate in the name of being strong, mm -hmm. and I was able to give them to my character and really give them a voice. Yeah. And, th and that is so uh, wonderful for women who have gone through it, to be able to read that, to see a character in a book. And we have to mention that you do specifically mention the Breast Cancer Research Foundation in the book, and WBZ is a proud media sponsor of BCRF because you take a lot of time to speak and appear for BCRF around the country at events everywhere on your book tours and everything. What is it about that organization that you think is most crucial well, to Well, the research? thing I love about it is that they fund all different hospitals in all different parts of the country. They're really treating the disease and um, trying to find a cure. And I follow them on Instagram and very, various platforms. And the amazing research they're doing, I mean, they're all about the science. And you need money to fund the research and it's very very clear that that is how we're going to find a cure mm. even since i've been diagnosed the things mm. that they've done for in four years are amazing and people are who do have stage four are living longer and people like me are completely you know in remission and i have very limited lasting effects from from what happened which, which is incredible amazing. so the mother of the groom gives a huge donation in the book she does oh. in the book the yeah the so sometimes the mother of the groom and the mother of the bride <laughs> don't see eye to eye but in this case the mother of the groom <laughs> secretly writes an enormous check to the bcrf to, to honor the mother of the bride do you find uh, because you have three children you, yes. you live in nantucket when people come to vacation and they pick up your books, do they ever run into you on the island? All the say, time. It's you. Oh, yes. Well, now, you know, people are <laughs> looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I have people. Uh, the other day, it was Nantucket Book Festival, so there were a lot of book readers more than usual, mm. but I got stopped. I was out doing errands. I probably got stopped three times. Mm. And people were so excited. And, and it, it happens more and more. I mean, with every book you pick up, more readers. And the thing that they love is that, uh, thankfully or, hope, or gratefully, I was able to evoke the island enough that they wanted to come visit. Mm. So what I will see very often is people who are like, I'm only here because of your books. And that's nice. That is And nice. I should be getting a kickback from the Chamber of Commerce. You should. The Nantucket <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. I just exactly. love. You publish a book every June. Every June. They come out like clockwork. Yes. Wonderful. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> well, the latest book job. is The Perfect Couple. Ellen Hildebrand, thank you so much. We know you're going to be on CBS this morning, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. So thanks for the scoop. We got you first. And by the way, Ellen thought that I was 25, so already <laughs> she's one of my favorite people. So Liam loves her. There you go. Uh, thank you so much, and enjoy a beautiful summer. Thank you. Thank Let's you for coming in. Let's check in with weather now.